all right to make chili oil we start off with chilies these are a very common type of red chilies think of them as cayenne because they are in the same scoville range between 30000 to 50000 they do not have a standardized name that's the reason for not dropping names here they're pure fire though de stem and de seed them spices one big beautiful star anise there's only one here but i use one more later two green cardamom and one black four medium garlic cloves one inch ginger five cloves One fourth of a big red onion, one teaspoon Sichuan peppercorns. Look at their rugged texture on them. They have a slight magenta tinge to them. I don't know if you can see that. Three four teaspoon fennel. These have a sweet licorice-like flavor, but they can be pretty strong if ground. We're not grinding them here though. Well, of course, I'm using four bay leaves in place of two. Two is enough for the unout zest. Half a stick cinnamon is enough, but I don't want to miss out on the cashew bark flavor. So four inches of that too, along with half a stick of cinnamon. So let's begin, shall we? In a hot, thick bottom pot or wok, go the chilies and one fourth of their seeds for that kick. With the flame on the lowest, keep stirring. and do not let them change color cuz that will affect both their taste and the color of the oil at the end these chilies were a little more bright red when i bought them 3 months ago they do tend to get darker with age with no loss of heat or flavor until 1 year they will last for 3 years though in a fridge in a dry fridge but after a year it's all downhill 3 and a half minutes later spread them and allow them to cool down until warm before you grind them up not too fine then the spices go in be very very attentive here don't let the spices change color at all just 1 minute over the lowest flame and keep stirring bruise the cardamom before frying them i've added a smoky nutty flavored bright chili powder with low scoville value you can add biadigi if you can get them or any sweet paprika half teaspoon table salt and mix the wok's already hot 250 ml or 1 cup any neutral tasting oil like canola or rapeseed oil or sunflower oil three green onions or sub them with spring onions one fourth of a big red onion bruised garlic in and sliced up ginger with a flame on the lowest let's check after 10 minutes 10 minutes in look at that browning the oil has gotten calmer isn't it five more minutes and i'm happy squeeze them against the wok release all the good oil and out they go i've known people to slap much of this on a slice of bread and eat it i'm giving it a pass spices in 3 minutes later the oil silent another 2 minutes and the oil's real silent now no bubbles at all looks like it isn't even hot i know i'm keeping the garlic to infuse i did add a teaspoon of salt into the chili powder and mixed at some point look how hot the oil was all along you could filter out all the spices before pouring the oil in but i like to keep all of them in you'll see why that is when you taste the oil later mix that tasty inferno round and round that's it Job done. The next day, in a clean glass jar, push all the chunky goodness in, and take your time to admire the luxurious color and richness. Smell it. Wow. Traditionally, three fourth of a teaspoon of black vinegar is added into the chili flakes before the hot oil goes in. But of late, I've stopped doing that because I'd like to control the acidity in the oil when I'm cooking with it. Instead, I add half a teaspoon of rice vinegar with a few teaspoons of this oil before drenching my noodles with it. Oh man, the vinegar just takes the flavor profile to Mount Everest. Really, you guys should absolutely try that. Now, sweet soy sauce one teaspoon and dark soy sauce one teaspoon. 
I'm making a noodle base for our oil here. One tablespoon water and mix. Oil in pan, minced garlic in. For oh, that, I like them tan and smoky. Noodles in with a little of their own water. Look at that shiny emulsification going on. Sauce in, mix up on high flame and let it boil down and come together in one minute's time. Now let the noodles sachet down into the bowl. Make them comfy. Sprinkle green onions and our gorgeous chili oil on top and more and a little more. Crispy toasted sesame seeds. It smells earthy, sweet. The chili and the smoky paprika just unpretentious, luxurious, simple and intensely flavorful. Enjoy the chili oil. Until next time.